new project and a new design so in this tutorial we are going to make a robo wheel that is used basically in in a robo race or ro robo soccer in various competitions so so let's go and get your v5 so generating a new part design i have shown you the dimensions of it here so you follow this and just it is so easy to make just follow the steps so naming it naming it to be a, a rim a outer rim okay so just selecting a plane sketching it right drawing one rectangle and see the dimensions here it is 55 r is for 55 okay the outer radius is 55 so the dimensions are for this it is 5 and this is 45 and the it should be symmetry with the center and the distance between this two it should be the value should be 55 as mentioned there okay now giving some definition here making a small okay very uh, chamfer of two again uh, of radius two and now a small corner here of uh, radius of one mm same as here 1 mm okay exit the part design now going for the command called shaft shaft through which we can you know uh, rotate this about an axis that that gives us a profile okay as you can see it is developed here right good now inserting a new body naming it as a middle portion or mis or a middle portion right here yeah, it is good so as you can see in the picture here uh, the middle portion contain a shaft that connects to the motor okay so we need to design that, that here also so sketching it making a circle of uh, radius after one has the radius of uh, 15 mm okay so just going here it's a diameter so the diameter should be 30 if it is 15 then it's double is 30 fine so back extruded mirror dimension so here here's one uh, thing don't give a mirror dimension extend it some this portion should be somewhat lesser than the behind one okay so for that we need to give the dimensions here two and also here we see how much we require okay so some less here to get a uh, shaft also so 7 versus 15 7 is the second limit and inner one that the other side is 15 mm okay good now again sketching this making a circle 
of uh, radius 7.5 so 15 mm diameter right extruding it to a certain length let, 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 let's suppose it should be 20 right looking good now doing some extra work chamfering it the edges let's take it to be 3 3 should be more I think so so take it some lesser value 2 right and now for the uh, motors raw opener shaft to be fitted in this so we are going to make another uh, another pocket here of uh, radius of radius 3.5 means 7 mm diameter so pocket should be less not not so deep 15 it's good right okay and to place the shaft at a proper position we need a pin here that should be that should be inserted okay to lock the shaft connected with the um, bot so sketching this plane the horizontal plane with the one pinhole that is of let's take it to be diameter of 2 or 2.5 that's that's a better and same pocket it to the down mm -hmm. right see is a pocket here for the bin right now generating a spokes inside this so for that we need to first of all uh, inserting a new body here naming it as uh, spokes right now selecting this plane sketching it right so for that we just need to first uh, develop a surface here okay as you can see in the picture it's some portions came out from from here so for that we need to go for the command called projection taking the projection of this right and now going for the offset command selecting this offset of 5 fine extruding it or in the mirror direction damage should be 2 in the both sides so you can see this surface de is developed here okay now making the spokes which is having 18 number and having a breadth of 7 and the length is determined by the outer circle and the inner one it is automated only so for that going back here and now selecting this plane sketching it invert the sketch now selecting command call projection same for this drawing a profile which is perpendicular to the curve same for again this now adding to the constraint to the body that is selecting this two this one 
giving as a symmetry of the diagram right and the distance between these two is 7 right now deleting this extra part for the satisfaction we just need to check the sketch it is all closed okay coming out command called pad using it to extrude the profile in the mirror direction of 2 cent 2 mm fine preview okay now developing around this wheel for that we need to transformation features circular pattern command now it is an 80 number having angular spacing of 360 by 8 fine and uh, current solid current solid is, is this one and a reference should be this circle fine all done now making outward spokes like you can see in this it is showing outward spokes that gives extra strength to the wheel so for that we need to um, make a thing here for that we need to insert a new body set new body naming it as outward spokes this go inside this okay so for that we need to develop a profile here and here by then, then that we are going to use the command called multi solid multi section solid by by then connecting this to to get the profile so for that sketching this drawing a rectangle of a random dimension consider this to be a small because it's a gradually increasing from the downside giving the constraint to the sketch to be symmetry same for this also fine it should be small fine now selecting a plane a horizontal plane extruding it to the end okay let's take it 55 fine or 56 to get that to totally get touched to the upper rim fine sketching this plane and making a big elongated rectangle now giving the constraint to the sketch and uh, this is symmetry with the center same for this also fine I'm not giving any dimensions here as this is a random thing so just making it so now selecting a command called multi section solid selecting this first section now selecting the other one with a smaller rectangle preview you can see a uh, profile is developed here that is an outward direction fine this gives extra strength to the body selecting this going for transversion features circular pattern applying the circular pattern to the wheel okay 
now selecting the reference surface uh, direction of this preview okay so it is done here now going for the grip and that's it for grip we need to insert a body again naming it as grip fine now selecting this plane not this plane we are going to make another plane okay sketching it drawing the profile of the grip as mentioned here the length should be uh, 19 and breadth should be 7 taking as a round figure taking as a uh, round of value as 7 and is the, it is 19 fine okay now giving the dimensions to the body first of all giving as a parallelism constraint and dimension is to be 19 and distance between this and this is 1 and this dimension is 5 or 7 sorry okay same for the other side okay dimension should be 19 as discussed earlier and distance between this two this is one cent mm okay and for to coincide this construct a construction line making it coincide with it to get a perfect dimensions and perfect alignment so for that going for constraint this and this coincide to each other this and this should be coincide to each other fine and dimension of this is 7 and again drawing one a reference line or a construction line to make the symmetry fine so here we go the profiles are done now extruding it with the help of pad command I'm taking as a 15 so it's somewhat big okay we need to file it so first of all we need to first um, take as a 21 and 360 by 21 a reference element should be this one preview okay so here it is done now for to file the extra portion here so for that we need to first 
develop a thing projection of this to be as a construction line okay now creating offset of this get an offset the distance between this two let, let's take as 20 or take as a minus 25 and this is minus 5 as we want that it should be five more than not more than that okay now going for a command called pocket so this will remove the unwanted part right as you can see it is done now for further thing we need to just give the some kind of extra features to the body like uh, changing the graphics of that thing as uh, blue okay changing the spokes to be of um, graphics should be dark blue to make you understand the things okay so thank you for watching it's done